And welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time we infiltrated this palace, which has been taken over by the evil Queen Valentina and her sidekick Dodo. And now I must at you. Look at how a life of fullest Mario looks in this game. Actually, like he never blinks. <laughs> um, but that's irrelevant. So, shoot. I was gonna say, so now we have to go through this awful palace. Uh, and I actually fight basically everything, because everything's really hard to avoid in this place. It's like, it's super hard to avoid anything. Um, take out you. And the torches are actually really tough, so I'm going to have Peach go after this guy, because she has a better chance of doing damage against him. Uh, that should have been good timing. No, because I was doing clocking 40 on them off screen. Um, like that. <laughs> They have a giant fork, which is so weird. Like, the enemy designs in this game are so peculiar. So it's like, that was like a close but no, no dice kind of hit. Like, okay, it was kind of good, but eh, it's, it's basically what it happens. Why there's such a variance in the damage numbers between like a perfectly timed hit and a not perfectly timed hit. And I'm pretty sure this game does run at 60 FPS, so it is actually a big deal. Um... At least, I think it's 60 FPS. Um, so yeah, it is very hard to do certain things in this game because of the frame rate, if I recall correctly. Okay. One, three, four. So the only one where we get a double bon uh, two-point bonus is this one. So I'm assuming the same will apply to Toadstool as well, yeah. Um, so these fans will blow you into the next room, but we can just fight them. Because why the heck can't you fight a fan? Uh, but yeah, this gets back to what I was saying earlier, that something the enemy designs in this game are just kind of random and don't feel very Mario-ish. Mario-ish, that's a word. Um, what are you talking about? That is totally a word. And here is... something. And over here is another thing. I think this guy you actually have to fight, but you can cheese it. If you want, you can cheese it. I don't know how, but speedrunners can actually get past them somehow? I don't actually know. I, I just remember seeing a video of it. <laughs> and they actually did avoid fight. They did skip past this encounter, but I'm not sure how. I'm not a speedrunner. The only game I've even attempted to speedrun is Super Mario 64. And technically linked up to the past, but a dead category. Um, and yes, no one does uh, compete with, like, uh, the uh, out-of-bounds glitch. Well, people still do the out-of-bounds glitch categories. It's just for a link to the past, people don't like to use the exploration glitch to just immediately beat the game, because it takes, like, two minutes. And it's all execution, so it's not that fun. But, you know, I feel like people are do have a good grasp on, like, um, the exploration glitch for other stuff. Like, oh, hey, cool. You can like clip through here and then get to the dungeon more easily, but instead of just be like, hey, clip through here and then get to the end of the game in like five seconds. Because that kind of speed running is like so easy, it's like, is it even worthwhile? I'm gonna do this and have my reasons. Um. Oh, he's still sleeping. <laughs> I didn't remember how this boss worked. Okay, block. I didn't remember if he, the dialogue box showed up again, or if you have to keep fighting him to actually get him to wake up. I thought it might have said he's still sleeping or something. Done. 81 damage. He's got good defense, but not good enough. What's in here? Uh, shamans. Shamans. You wanna be funny. Yes. What the heck? <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was in, if that was supposed to happen. I'm like legitimately being serious right now. I am not sure if that was supposed to happen. Um, like seriously, I just can't get that ti attack timing down for Peach. This is the too early or slightly too late. Shot guy sucks, so we can leave that one alive for a little bit and focus on the shaman. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll take this guy out next, and we should be good to go. 
Uh, I think Jabba's turn is after Bowser, so... Yeah, so we do get an extra turn. So I should attack with Mario to wake him up. That would probably be the best strat I could come up with. Not that I'm trying to do too much optimization in a walkthrough. Um... Oh, that was easy. Easy enough. Nope, do not want to gamble that much XP. <laughs> 23 doesn't sound like much, but it's actually pretty substantial in this game because uh, the level cap's only 30, so of course the XP is kind of low. Aha! Far coin. Knew there was something out there, didn't know what. Aha! This is where all the people are kidnapped. Go on, take this. Got a flower jar. Shoot. I have no inventory space. <laughs> um, and Yoshi's sound effect is so weird. But that does, that's off topic. Um... Dip in the hot springs would perk the king up in the jiffy. Did you know Valentina's got a huge egg in the middle of the, in the middle room? Um, how do we get the? Yep, did know it. <laughs> um, let's be guard here until Valentina snatched away all my keys and gave me the boot. Guess I won't be needing the master key anymore. Would you like it? Sure. <laughs> uh, the fact that this is a save block here should. Be signaling off all sorts of red flags, and so something big is going to go down soon. Uh, so I just kind of want to make sure and be on the safe side. Group hug. I didn't actually open this, so oh, flower. Uh, so 61. Wait, do we have 999? Wow, we do. Uh, dang. Um, guess I'm gonna have to change up my plans when I'm gonna show a thing. But okay. Go into the master room and we find old Fladdy Da again. Here you go, big egg. I'll give you a lot, plenty of nutrients so you'll grow up to be big and strong. Uh oh, oh Mario's already here. He's fast when he is. Um. Uh oh, oh, it won't open. It's locked. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who this could be. I feel like most people will know already. I'm so lonely, will you play with me? Ew. You'll, if you don't know what this is, then you'll be even more like you when we actually see what it is. <laughs> so just pummel the shell, that's all you do. And it'll hatch eventually. Um, wow, we are wrecking this shell. Like, seriously, this is going so fast. <laughs> Hello, heart. I'm Birdo. Yeah, Birdo wants to play and is lonely, so yay for us. Um, Birdo, I think, has like 2,000 HP, I think, so this spell does drag a little bit. Hehe, <laughs> ouch, you're hurting me. Now it's my turn. Get it while it's hot. What? Ow. Yeah, this is why you want Peach around <laughs> for this fight, because Spurdo is actually legitimately strong. Um, like, oddly strong for just being a Birdo. And that's kind of a theme of having Birdo show up at the very end of games. I mean, same thing happened in Mario Luigi. Um, not spoil anything, but yeah, Birdo's in that game. Birdo even, like, randomly shows up in, like, Sticker Star and everything like that. So this is weird how Birdo just shows up a lot of times. So, sort of unceremoniously. <laughs> We're doing a fair bit of damage against Birdo. Um, but not as much as I would like. I didn't push the button. <laughs> that was my bad at that time. So, 80. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. 44, so Bowser can take another hit or two. Um, there we go. <laughs> I missed the action command though, so. 64, but the N64 isn't gonna come out yet until like another couple of years. Actually, no, this was 95. I think the N64 was just gonna come out. I'm never gonna let you go. You're just too cute. That boss was a lot easier than I remember it being. But we got a lot of money that we can't even carry because we're, we're loaded. And I got another key. Castle key number two. And we're back to full health. Uh, shoot, I remember this part. T timing. Not good timing. 
Uh, shoot, that's what this shaman hallway is for. To get back to the main hall. I guess I could just kill the fan. That'd probably be the best move I could do. <laughs> it feels weird killing a fan, but such as the way of Mario RPGs, it seems. Killing weird enemies that are inconsistent with the rest of the games. Um, okay. That was a lot shorter than I expected it to be. Uh, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to get through the f next fight in a decent time limit. This is locked too. Mario! There's a note. Let's read it. King Nimbus is resting in bed. Absolutely no running in the halls! This can only mean that my mom and dad are here. But it's, oh, but it's locked. Leave it to me. <clears throat> Leave it to me. Looks like it's up to me to get you out of another jam. Feast your eyes on this show, brains and brawn. Stand back! Oof, wait a minute. If my dad's really bedridden, we shouldn't make so much noise. I like how Bowser's just crying. We need to make another plan. Because we should find Valentina, force the truth out of her. What about the door? <laughs> ah, mm, yeah. Listen to you, never ever talk to the leader of the Koopa Troop like that. Oh, I hate that. I'll ignore it this time, don't let it happen again. Queen Valentina! How'd you get out of the locked room? Oh, I unlocked it, that's right. <laughs> Queen Valentina! Oh, uh oh, we got a mole. Or a tattletale. Not another heavy trooper, but yeah, there is a way to get- I did it! <laughs> that was totally intentional, I should also point out. The Mario creature beat up Smilax is here. Mario? What does a Mario look like? Well, it has a bushy mustache, long sideburns, and a pair of mean-looking legs. <laughs> I have the feeling I've seen this Mario before. <laughs> ah, wait, yes, that was that statue that Garo just delivered. What, what, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Valentina? Well, we certainly aren't going to listen to your pointless chatter. Frankly speaking, I'm not going to worry. Without this key, the king can't go anywhere. I picture her sounding like that one. If you ever seen the anime, um, or on the or on high school host club, this is one character who has like the super boisterous laugh. That's how I picture Valentina sounding. I said, shut up already. Like one of those really exaggerated laughs. That's Mario. Valentina, hand over the key now. <laughs> this is gonna end well. Ah! How utterly rude. And who in blazes are you anyway? I'm the real prince, that's who. Brat, and how dare you listen in a private conversation? Private? Private? Everyone in a 10 mile radius could hear you. <laughs> huh, if you're gonna be this rude, I'm simply going to leave. So long, chumps. Uh, Valentina ran away. Uh, I shall fight a coop too. <laughs> I like how he just backs away slowly. Um, I think we missed the boat here. <laughs> so we better get moving too. Come on, let's get him. Uh, you heard the cloud puff. Better get moving. Gotta save because the next boss can be a little bit rough. We should be able to do it in this episode though. Oh, screw you two. <laughs> Just crowding in the middle of the hallway like that. I don't think I've ever seen the RNG do that, actually. Um, because normally there's more spread out than that in the pattern that you can, like, actually dodge. But they were just, like, super clumped together and, like, impossible to avoid. Shoot. Um, maybe we won't be getting to that boss battle. <laughs> um, he's not gonna- Heavy Koopa's- Heavy Troopa's not gonna attack, he's gonna prepare the launch. Uh, so that buys us time at least to rack up some damage on its um, downtime. 134. 20 XP. Mario's probably gonna get another, another level before too long. Um, let's see. Uh, 54. So yeah, probably next battle he's gonna level. Because he has double the XP. Okay, that was cheap. I didn't even have a chance to move out of that one. 
Okay, that was just kind of cheap. Okay. Can I run from this fight? Because this is just going to be tedious. Um, I do find this, again, to be a problem. I think I brought this up in Pokemon also. That my least favorite thing in RPGs is when there's just like a group of enemies who all attack in a row and just take forever. And in the case of Pokemon, when you have like six Magikarp that you all one shot, that, that you can one shot each and every one of them. So it's like, why is this battle even here? A battle with six Magikarp that don't even get to have a turn. It's like, it's so weird how this, it feels like a filler battle, but it's like, why? <laughs> um, that, but that's kind of besides the point in this case, but I do find it an issue when there's just pointless encounters that you can't actually dodge. The monster is stunned? I didn't know that could happen. Um, and that wasn't even a, a timed hit, and I still killed it pretty easily. Uh, Gino gets to go with attack. Uh, ha, huh, what's this? A star? I'll take it. Uh, huh. Do that, and throw it through all y'all. <laughs> I took out Dodo, <laughs> for reference. Um, sorry Dodo. Too, you're too slow. Quote Sonic. Oh, snap. Ah, run away! Whew, down the hole. Gonna pass some items. Uh, I think you can't get those by going up on the other vines in the valley. So that's something else to keep in mind. This may be a long video, but I think I can get through the fight in 8 minutes. Uh, I'm torn because it's, it could just be a long episode otherwise. Um, I actually think we're gonna call it, just so the episode doesn't get too long, so sorry about the shortness, but next time we will be fighting Valentina and Dodo, so thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me next time for some more Super Mario RPG.